What's going on everybody, it's Zyko here and today I am the Naked Cause today I'm going to be showing you how to cook wasteland scraps into gourmet meals. Let's begin, just in case someone does jump onto the, the video uh, thinking this will be a brand new, my, a new guide for how to actually cook in the first place so I'll just get that out of the way. So what you're going to need is uh, 100 wood to create a fire and when you create that fire you have 50 wood inside it so you don't need much more. Basically press A, go into the inventory, then put your item in there, you can press turn on on the outside or you can press E on the outside. Wait, your meal is cooked basically, nice and easy. Say if you're feeding uh, more than one, maybe your whole family, you might want to cook a lot in the same time. So if you fill all these out, it basically shoots out the charcoal and the meat as well so you're going to have to be nearby else here despawn in 5-10 minutes. And the reason why I've got 60 wood here is because it's free wood per one chicken. And you could either have just one or all four. It cooks them all simultaneously off the same fuel. So that's nice and easy. And there we go, you see the charcoal falling out. Uh, I think the server is actually a little bit buggy that I'm on. When you cook stuff and it comes out of a furnace or a, a fire, it actually falls onto the floor. So the chicken might actually fall out. But we just pretend it's nearby if it does. Oh, no, managed to get it in time. There we go. So as you can see, got four lots of chicken, and we just used free fuel then when it was at 57, giving us that three to one ratio. You might be thinking, well, I'm not gonna wanna be standing next to the fire all day, so what's the best way that I can keep cooking food on the go, not having to wait nearby, and not really wasting everything? Say if you're on a place where it's limited for uh, animals, or someone's already doing the barrel runs and the boxes all the time, so you can't actually get anything. Well, we will be doing a little test. Two lots of free chickens and nine wood, giving that three to one ratio. I'm just going to start that and I will fast forward all these, test another three lots to see what's the best ratio in between. There we go then. We can see that we just cooked uh, six lots of chickens. One actually uh, got burnt and it fell out and we got five. So one waste and six cooks out of six. So let's start the next one, which is uh, four and four. So that's all done now. As you can see, we cooked eight chickens and seven survived and the lesser one. So that's better than the, the first one that we've done. And there we go, that one's all done. So we cooked 10 chickens, eight survived and two burned. There we go, that's all done. So cooking 12 chickens, 10 survived and two vanny. Looking at the other ones, 441 was the best one with the best ratio of only losing one through cooking eight altogether. If you do want to cook uh, as many as you can because you've got the uh, resources or you're not too bothered about a bit of waste, then I would say two stacks of 10s because any more than that, then they'd just be spilling over because you only can get a maximum of 20. Unless you want a modified server with modified stack, then you can go a little bit higher. Meat from items are not the only thing that you can cook in there. You can all so cook up tin cans. Of course first take out the content by eating them. Place it in there, same again as before, it's 3 to 1 ratio. So we've got the tuna there and we also have the uh, tin of beans. So same again with that one and we'll see which one gives the most frag and what it gives. There we go, that's just finished. So the tuna gives 10 metal frags and the baked beans give 15 metal frags. So just keep that in mind when you're starting off and you want to get your door and your code lock or any metal tools. Uh, they can be uh, really helpful sometimes. Being the naked chef, it's always a good idea to keep on top of nutrition and what you're serving to your customers. So going through them, uh, the first item that gives health back instantly is mushrooms. Mushrooms give back free health and it's the only item that does so. Next on the uh, nutritional list is hot, heal over time. So every second uh, you will get one health for X amounts of seconds and the item for that is chicken and second place is pumpkin but I would definitely go for chicken because you can always stack chicken uh, it could be a, uh, a cheap way a cheap man's medical syringe just bear that in mind now nextly is a uh, hunger so filling your tummies when you're running around doing lots of gathering XP farming hunting killing you name it and the best item for that is but it gives back a hundred and ten hunger really good so if you're going out for a big massive farm or if you're just gonna keep yourself tied over the day I definitely recommend pork pork is also the second best for uh, dehydration as well well for hydration to keep you hydrated 
and that gives back 30 per piece. But the winner of uh, Hydration is the Cactus, and that gives back 40. And that's it from me. This is Zyko, the Naked Chef. Try not to burn the place down. Have fun cooking.